frame, the wheels attached, the front harness attached, the leg rings, fastener kit, magnet, stirrups, and clamps. So the first thing you're going to do when you take it out of the box is line it up so the red strap is at the bottom and the blue strap is at the top. We're going to take the adjustment knob and turn it counterclockwise a couple turns and set the wheels so they're perpendicular to the ground like this. Now I'll do the other side. So it looks like this. First thing you should probably do is measure your pet's width and set the width bars in the back. If you need to do that to make it wider, unscrew it. Take the washer out and the carriage bolt. Then when you put it in to make it the width that you need it, make sure the carriage bolt is secured all the way in it. Put the flat washer on and the adjustment knob screwed in tight. I'm going to make the other side a little bit wider too, just to be in uniform. Okay. Alrighty. So with the front harness, the dog's head is going to go between this one and this one. So what you want to do first is unclip the black strap and unclip the blue strap and just let that hang. Because the dog's leg, front legs are actually going to go in front of the red straps. So next I'm going to attach the leg rings. So it's going to look like this when it's installed and not like this. We want it to look like two C's and not two V's, okay? So before we do this, we're going to put the um, clamps on. Now your kit comes with a lot of different, well, it comes with eight clamps. So there's four singles and there's four doubles. And you can tell the difference, one's wider than the other. This is a double, this is a single, and what that means is you're going to put them on the outside of the knuckles, okay, to hold the leg rings in. Now, this, because there's two bars right here, it's, we need the double. We're going to put the hole on the outside and we're just going to um, clip this on and kind of shimmy it on so it's locked in place like that. Now in the back here, it looks like there's a double right here. So that's basically what we're going to use on this side. So it looks like that. We're going to do the same thing with the other side using two doubles. That way, when we put the leg rings on and the dog's in it, the leg rings are not going to move forward or backwards. They're going to stay put. So the way I like to do this is just put the wires in the channels all at once and then feed them through. So let's say they're like about that. Then we're going to push the center down so it looks like a baby swing. So it's like maybe a couple inches below the blue frame because we want the dog in it to be secured. And technically the sidebar will be in the middle of the dog's body All right, so with this excess wire, I'm just going to wrap it around. The seat should be nice and comfortable for the dog. Put all the four wires around. There you have it. These are the stirrups. These are going to go on the back of the wheelchair if your dog's legs are paralyzed. If they're just weak, they can use their back legs. So to install this, you put it back here and then you push the push ball all the way up. Obviously this is too long. We want the stirrups to hang about two to three inches from the ground. So what we're going to do is tie a new knot right here where I need it. 
So, the stirrup goes over this knob, then you push that up, and then the dog's leg is gonna go in here, right where the hawk is. Once you have it secured around the hawk, then you're gonna push this down to secure the leg in. So it's nice and snug. And then you'll do the same with the other side. You'll just retie a new knot in the same place, put it over, and there you have it. Okay, so that's about what it will look like. Um, if you get the dog in it and it's too long, you can just either wrap it around the back and then put the legs in it. I just shortened it up that way. Okay. When you get your dog in the wheelchair, you're gonna put the two back legs through here so this middle part is resting on the abdomen. You're gonna place the dog's front legs in front of the red strap. The front legs are good and strong, so after your dog's in it, then you're gonna take this and clip it, and take this and clip it, and then adjust the straps accordingly. You can always take these pads off first and adjust it, and then you can put the pad back on it. They're just little Velcro pieces. When the dog's in the wheelchair, this bar should be in the middle of the body. And the back legs should just be um, a little bit more than tippy-toeing on the ground so that they can push off easily. If it's too tall, then you're gonna adjust it and you can do this while the dog's in it. Loosen it up counterclockwise and then just um, slide it to where you need it and then tighten it up. And then what you wanna remember is when you do the other side, look at the indicators and try to match it so that it's even. Like that. If you've adjusted the width where you need it and the height where you need it, and you put your dog in it and you find out that you need the sidebars longer, the length extenders, what you're gonna do is, um, what I like to do is I measure the dog's hip to their armpit and say if that's eight inches, then I'll make eight inches from here to here and this is how you would do it. You would um, detach the leg ring side and you're gonna need to take the clamps off to move it. They just shimmy off real quick. And then to adjust the length, what you do is turn the knob a couple turns counterclockwise and simply just pull the, um, the bar out where you need it. It can go here or all the way here. And then just make sure when you do that, you tighten the knob and then you do the other side accordingly, the same way so that the two match in the front. And then you reinstall the clips. Now here, because I made it longer, there's no two bars. So back here, I'm gonna use a single clip. But over here, as you see, I'll still need the double clip because there's two bars. And then I'll just put the leg ring wire down so it makes a nice bucket seat and twist the wire around. And that's how you put together a B2 rear